Welcome to 20 minute standing yoga flow. As other standing practices, you can do this one without a yoga mat. Just make sure you're standing somewhere where your feet won't easily slide in standing postures. Let's begin standing with feet around hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. Rock back and forward on your feet a couple of times. Then lift your toes, spread them wide, press down through all four corners of the feet and then lower down your toes. Breathe deeply in and out through your nose, deepen your inhales, slow down your exhales. And continue to breathe deeply in and out through your nose throughout the practice. With your next inhale, lift your arms up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees for chair pose. Keep weight in the heels. Draw the navel in, strong legs, strong core. Take one more inhale in chair. Exhale, bend forward, straighten your legs a bit more. Inhale, halfway lift, torso parallel to the ground. Pull your chest forward. Exhale, full forward bend, knees can be bent. Inhale, chair pose, lift your arms up. Exhale, mountain pose, release the arms down. Let's do it two more times a bit faster. Inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, sit down, chair pose. Inhale here. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, come up to standing, release your arms. One more time. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, chair pose. Sit a little deeper. Inhale here. Exhale, bend forward, straighten the legs. Halfway lift with inhale. Bend forward, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Mountain pose, exhale. Bring your palms together in front of your chest and shift your weight into the left foot. Lift your right knee high, as high as you can. And try to stay up straight without leaning back. You can rotate your ankle a couple of times here. Bring some movement to your ankles before standing postures. One more inhale, lift your knee a little higher. Exhale, step your right foot back into high lunge. Bend your left knee over the ankle, find your balance. And we will move through a little flow here. With inhale, circle your arms up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend the front knee, palms to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend the knee, palms to your heart. Last time, inhale. Exhale, sink a little deeper into the lunge. With inhale, lift your arms up, knee stays bent. Exhale, twist to the left, reaching your right arm forward, left arm back. You have option to stay here or place your left hand to your right thigh and lift your right arm up and over the head. Reverse lunge. On your next inhale, come back to high lunge. Reach your arms up. 
exhale palms to your heart lower down your back heel for warrior one position right toes point to the top right corner of the mat hips still facing forward roll your shoulders back and down interlace fingers behind your back with inhale lift your chest Exhale, bend forward to your front inner thigh for Humble Warrior. Try to bring your left shoulder towards your left knee. Pull your hands away from the back to feel the shoulder stretch. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose. Still pressing down through your feet, strong legs. With your next inhale, lift your chest up, straighten your front leg, maybe bring your back foot also a little closer for pyramid pose, feet around hip distance apart, hips facing forward, with inhale lift your chest, exhale bend forward to your front leg until you feel the stretch on the hamstrings, on the back of your front leg. Hands can stay on the hips, down on two yoga blocks or on the floor. Try to relax your upper body even more with each exhale down towards your leg. Slowly come up to standing and step your right foot forward to meet your left. You will repeat the same sequence on the other side. So shift your weight into your right foot, lift your left knee high, hold there, continue to breathe, maybe rotate your ankle also, flex and point your foot a couple of times. With inhale, lift your knee a little bit higher. Exhale, step your foot back into high lunge. Take a moment to settle here. Bend the front knee over the ankle. Find a stable position. And then let's move. With inhale, straighten your front leg, reach your arms up. Exhale, sit back into high lunge. Two more on your own, continue to move with your breath. Last time, inhale and exhale. Lower body stays as it is. With inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Stay in here all over your back hand to your thigh and reach your left arm up, reverse high lunge. With inhale, turn your torso forward into high lunge, lift your arms up. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. Lower down your back heel for warrior one. Take a moment to settle here. And when you're ready, roll your shoulders back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bend forward to your inner thigh. Pull your hands away from the back, stretching the shoulders. Breathe here, pressing down through the feet, relaxing the body more into the position with each breath. On your next inhale, come up to standing, straighten your front leg. Prepare for pyramid pose, maybe step your foot back, 
Turn the hips to face forward. This inhale lifts the chest, create some space in the upper body. Exhale, bend forward. Keep your hands on the hips, on the blocks or on the mat. Breathe fully in and out through the nose. On your next inhale, come up to standing and step your left foot forward. Now place your feet wide, parallel to each other. And then move your right foot out so that the toes point forward, heels in one line. Bend your right knee over the ankle or slightly behind and reach your arms parallel to the ground for warrior two. Look forward over your front hand, strong warrior pose. Now lower your right forearm to your right thigh and begin to make circles with your left arm, bringing some movement to the shoulder. Move through the whole range of motion in your shoulder joint, making slow and controlled circles with your arm. On your next inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, straighten your leg and turn to the other side. Left foot facing forward. Make sure your knee is also facing forward over the toes. Reach your arms to the sides, gaze over your front hand. Then lower your forearm down to your thigh and make a few big circles with your right arm. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, straighten the leg. Bring your legs closer together and prepare for eagle pose. We will start standing on right foot. Bend your standing leg and cross your left knee over the right. Just a simple cross or hook your left foot behind your right calf. You can press your palms together in front of your heart for easier variation. Or wrap your left arm underneath your right arm and press your palms together for full eagle pose. Choose the variation that works for you today. Find something in front of you you can fixate your gaze on. This helps with balance. Breathe deeply, squeeze your inner thighs together. This also helps with stability in this position. Take one more breath here and then straighten the legs, come up to standing, shake your legs and arms out if you need to release tension before we do the other side. When you're ready, shift your weight into your left foot, cross your right leg over the left, choose the variation for your arms that works on this side and hold. Try to keep your torso upright without leaning forward too much. Remember to squeeze your inner thighs together.
and then slowly release. Place your feet out wide again, as wide as it feels comfortable for you. Hands on the hips, inhale to lift your chest, exhale bend forward. Release your hands down to the mat or place them on your ankles, shins or grab your big toes. Take one more inhale to lengthen the spine here and with exhale release the upper body down. Shift weight into the balls of your feet, legs stay strong. Breathe in deeply in and out through the nose. Now place your right hand or fingertips down in center between your legs and with inhale open your chest to the left, lifting your left arm high, twisted wide leg forward bend. Big inhale here, exhale lower down your left hand into the center, inhale reach your right arm up, twist into the right, big inhale here, exhale release the hand down and come up to standing, turn your toes out, heels in for goddess pose, bend your knees, hands on the sides, drop your right shoulder down, twist into the left, Come back to center, drop your left shoulder down, twist to the right. And then come back to center, straighten your legs, bring your feet to hip distance apart, toes pointing forward, bend your knees a lot, lower your upper body over the legs and hug your elbows for ragdoll position. Sway side to side, back and forward here, relaxing the upper body. You can stay in ragdoll position or move with me into a more intense hamstring stretch, Pada Hastasana. Slide your hands under your feet, toes come close to the wrists. Bend your knees so that the belly comes into contact with your thighs. Relax the neck and head, elbows point to the sides. And then slowly begin to straighten your legs, lifting the sit bones up towards the ceiling until you feel a good stretch on your hamstrings, on the back of the legs. Remember to breathe deeply in and out, expanding your chest and belly with inhales and contracting the muscles as you exhale. Take one more breath here or in ragdoll. and then slowly come up to standing. Good job today! We will finish now with uh, Shavasana. You can stay standing or lay down if you prefer to relax a bit more. Close your eyes, let go of your breath, come back to your natural breath pattern and notice how your body feels after this quite intense practice. Notice if your body feels tired or energized. Maybe your mind feels more awake.
take one more big breath through the nose exhale through the mouth and then open your eyes thank you for practicing with me today i hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments if you would like to see more standing practices see you soon bye